Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. That's right. This is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. Hello, hello, hello to everyone and especially to Mr. V. That's right. We got another email. And he wrote, I am trying to open a simple business. I have two daughters. I lend them money. They pay me back on a monthly basis of 5% interest on the unpaid balance. I need help setting up the chart of accounts for these transactions. I opened up a new checking account just for this function. Okay, well, let's go over to QuickBooks and let's take a look at it. All right, all right, all right, Mr. V, we are in QuickBooks. I am in chart of accounts. Now, before I show you the answer to this, uh, I want to let you guys know that this is actually uh, one of the easier, easiest questions, answers I've had to do. Um, it's not something that I really, really have to show on a video. Um, but guess what? To be honest with you guys, I needed some fresh content this month. Okay, for my YouTube channel, for my website, you know, SEO stuff. So I needed for content. I got this question. I said, you know what? What the hell? I'll go ahead and make a video. Okay, I know you guys sometimes don't want like having to go through this video, especially if you can read it. But guess what? You didn't have to look at this video for this one. If you look below the video, you'll see that I actually wrote the response as well. So in the future, if you don't like to hear these annoying videos, no, they're not annoying. Only you think they're annoying. I think they're kind of cool. In any case, back to the question at hand. Let's go on and help Mr. V. So Mr. V, you ready for the answer? Let's do it. The answer is pretty much as simple as this. Is you're going to create an equity called loans payable daughter one. You're going to create another equity called loans payable daughter two. You can put their name if you want. It doesn't have to be the word daughter one. It could be anything you want, but that's the, the actual main word that I use, loans payable. Okay. And over here for the income side, we're going to call it interest income daughter one, interest income daughter two. Simple as that. When you give them money, you basically you're going to put it out of this account. When you get some money back, you put the principal into this account and the actual 5% income into this account. But you know what? Because I'm already doing a video, I'm going to do it all the way. And I'm going to show you how I enter this, okay? I'm not going to talk much, you guys. I'm just going to get to work. Cool? Cool. All right, back to my chart of accounts. Equity. <clears throat> okay. Save a new loans. Able daughter two. You promised these people you weren't gonna talk so much while you work, but I lied. Okay, and then the other one was income, right? So now we want to do the income. Let's go ahead and do a transaction. So what I could do is I can enter it in a form of a bill. That's one way of doing it. There's a couple ways of you could do it. I'm going to show you this way if you want to keep track of it so you can make your daughter vendor one. Daughter one, here we go. Quick add. Okay. And let's say you loaned her $1,000. What a nice guy. Or you know what? We don't even have to go to Bill. Okay. Bill is one way, you guys. Actually, I like to kind of, you know, cut through the red tape. And I like to go straight to write checks. Now I also meant I know you also mentioned that uh, you created a bank account for this. This is simple under write checks. You just add a new bank account under bank. Same thing. Chart of accounts. Bank. Bank for daughters. Here you go. I created one just for you, Mr. V. 
So bag for daughters. Okay, you wrote check number 1001. And you wrote it for daughter one. You wrote her a $1,000 check. That's going to go to loans, payable, daughter one. So there you go. Now, you just gave her $1,000. Now, let's say it's a month from now has gone by. So now, daughter one. Okay, so now, I'm going to go ahead and go to enter sales receipt. I'm going to do daughter one over here. Okay, and now we want to basically say loans, principal, daughter one for item and this is going to be a service we can copy that right over here and the first one is going to get tied into the first one is going to get tied into the loans payable daughter one because this is the principal not the income so let's say you got half your money back and now we're going to do uh, interest income daughter one for item list as well, service, copy to description, and interest income daughter one. So here we go. So now I'm tying the income to the income and the principal. So let's say the income hypothetically was, you know, 25 bucks, whatever 5% is. It doesn't really matter. This is all examples. We're not going to do California sales tax, so you can just ignore that. But there you go. That's really the, how you record. Uh, the income that comes back. Uh, you have to separate, once again, the principal and the actual income because this one uh, it does not really count towards uh, what you pay taxes or not. It's really more based on the income. All right? I'm pretty sure that answers your question. Anything else? Holler at your mega niche university. Woo woo. And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.